when you come to my city, you know you gotta tap in, tap in. What they call you? Good in every hood, cause you know that I'm tapping, tapping. So baby, tap in, tap in, tap in. Pardon my behavior, I'm gonna do drugs. So baby, tap in, tap in, what is up y'all welcome back to yon's world if you're new here to my channel hi i'm yon moore and today we're going to be making hot chocolate bombs if you don't know what hot chocolate bombs are i'll insert a clip right here Basically what we're doing is recreating this little TikTok trend. I can explain it more as the video goes on. We're gonna head to Michael's and get the supplies to be able to do this, but it's just a fun holiday activity to, you know, get in the holiday spirit. So I'm gonna do with Brooklyn today. We're gonna go ahead and head to Michael's, like I said, and then get right back to you guys. We just got into the car. B, what do we need mm -hmm. for Michael's? We need um, silicone molds, mm -hmm. we need hot cocoa powder and then we need marshmallows so we need the silicone mold actually will be the shape of the the bombs and then we need the powder for the hot chocolate and then marshmallows that's all based off preference we want marshmallows in ours but we're gonna go ahead and head to michael's right now it's about a 10 minute drive and then we're gonna get right back to you guys we have made it to michael's there's a line right now we try to do curbside pickup but they're talking about a 90 to a two hour wait we're not doing that so we got out of the car and now we're waiting in line to be able to get the silicone and yeah we're gonna go to like cvs or target probably next to get the marshmallows and the hot chocolate powder oh my goodness you guys that was a hot mess so basically what happened was we pulled up to michael's the line was literally out down the street so we were like we're not waiting in this line so instead we did an online order for pickup then we called like it said when you get there to call and when we called they're like oh it's gonna be 90 minutes to two hours we were like sis we might as well just you know wait in line then so we got out waiting in line they actually had our order ready when we walked in but then what they gave us wasn't correct so we had to go do a bunch of exchanges and returns but now we finally got we don't even have the silicone stuff we had to return the silicone because it wasn't big enough so now we're gonna head to target because target says they have the silicone balls like we need this is our face because we literally have been on the run trying to find some silicone balls to be able or silicone molds to be able to make the balls themselves we tried to target at a different location and the line was just way too long so we came to another target to see if they have the silicone molds we're crossing our fingers online so that they have them i hope it's not too busy in here so we can get in and get out we have legit had the worst luck trying to find some silicone molds that are circle not too big not too small we found some that are small but we don't want it to be too small we don't want it to be too big so it doesn't fit in our cups we got some silicone baking cups this is the closest to what we we're gonna find There's some speaking kids so we also have the milk chocolate Ghirardelli um melting chocolate marshmallows and hot cocoa we are finally done shopping now we will head back to the house so that we can make these hot chocolate bombs. We just made it back to the crib. So this is what our molds are going to be, you guys. Don't judge. These aren't circular or round like the tutorial is, but there literally was nothing in the store that we could make that was silicone. It has to be silicone to be able to actually like, pop the chocolate out once it dries. So this is the only thing that we could find that was close to silicone. It has like ribbed edges so that may be kind of difficult don't mind the stain it's my makeup from where I put my shirt on um but it might make it difficult but we're still gonna try it and put it together they're not gonna be balls they'll probably be like just a shape yeah. I don't know but they're still gonna be good and it's still gonna taste good so we're gonna go ahead and set up here we have our pan which we're gonna melt the chocolate in we got the Ghirardelli um chocolate flavor wafers b already opened it and tried it she said they were really good so that means our hot chocolate's gonna be really good so we're gonna go ahead and melt these on the stove and then we have our cocoa mix to put inside and our marshmallows so b's putting them in there right now how many are you gonna put in there you think 
Is this too much? You're good. Well, that's perfect. Okay. How long does it say? Does it have instructions? If you're doing the microwave method, it says 30 seconds and then stir it and then put it in for another 15 seconds. If you're doing it on the stove, it says just put it on top of the stove and continue to mix it. So how's it looking? Can I have to so this seat. is what it is for the first 30 seconds. So we're for sure going to have to put that back in there. Let's just put it in for another 30. Okay. I think obviously it depends on what type of microwave you have and the power. Um, we're just putting it in there for another 30 seconds. This is after the second 30 seconds. It's way more liquidy. So all I'm doing right now is washing the molds. We're also probably going to turn them inside out because let me show you guys what I'm talking about. When it's in its normal state, it's more boxy on the bottom. We want it to be more circular around. So when you do it inside out, you can see it turns more into like a circle. So we're just gonna turn ours inside out and then fill it up and see what happens. It's super melting now. It's like perfect. Don't bring your hands off. I'm not. It should be interesting to see how this turns out because we're really DIYing over here. Do it yourself, do it your way, your own twist to it. It might come out really nice, we don't know. But I mean, shoot, it's just gonna go in a hot chocolate and melt to be honest, so. Can't go that wrong. All of our molds are washed and dried. Now we're going to coat this layer. We're getting this instructions from TikTok, so hopefully TikTok does this justice. What you basically do is just get a spoon, put it in the chocolate, and then kind of just wipe it around the edges. Um, and then we're gonna put it in the freezer, let it dry, and then from there we'll give some more instructions. But B has a spoon, I have a spoon, and what we're literally gonna do is grab our spoon, grab a little bit of chocolate, put it on the inside, and then just wipe it around the edges. Probably need to do two coats, you think? Mm -hmm. I think two coats will so probably be better. So it's thick, yeah. I just hope it doesn't like stick because it's ribbed on the sides. I hope it doesn't like stick to the sides and not come out and give us a hard time, but we'll see, we'll see. So we just took these two out of the freezer. As you can see, they're already basically dry. We're gonna go ahead and add a second layer to them so it can be super sturdy and then put it right back in the freezer. Make sure you get it around the rims. So when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you get it around the rims too because that's what's gonna stick to the other side um, when we melt them together. Now that we have our chocolate basically dried, um, the next step is to open your powder and your marshmallows fill one of the sides or take it out of the mold first and then fill one of the sides and the other side you have to get a pan um heat the pan up you're gonna melt the top of it and then immediately put it on so that it can stick and make a ball Ooh. step one take it out of the mold let's see if our molds work y'all i don't know about this oh it looks like it's clean i have a little burner here too okay it's starting to peel off look oh we gotta clean this chocolate off the ground because we have a dog. Okay. Ah, so it it's more like a Reese, a Reese's cup texture instead of like a round ball, but it's okay. Both of my molds are out. They came out good. So when I, when it's all said and done, it's gonna look sort of like this. Hopefully it sticks. It's a pretty big ball too. So hopefully it's not like too sweet, but we'll see. Yeah. So I got my hot cocoa powder. I'm gonna open it up and then pour it on one side. Got it? And go ahead and pour it on one side. It's a whole packet. Oh my gosh. Look, you guys. Make sure you don't get on the ground, B. Okay. Filling it and filling it. Now we got the marshmallows. Let's see, can you catch me wrong? <laughs> I don't think you can. Let's try again. Hey, try another right. one. We're trying to get in the camera so it's a, a direct pass. Hey! hey. <laughs> so now I'm gonna get a handful of marshmallows or a little bit. You wanna get your marshmallows? He's getting her marshmallows. Just put them in there. Show the camera yours. All right. 
That's mine. Half mm -hmm. a mission. Mm -hmm. Mine's already out the mold, but this is mine here. Extra marshmallows. Ooh, I dropped. Do you just throw it away? Here they are. It's so cute. Okay, next step. Okay, this is this is the vital step. So after that, let me turn the camera a little bit so y'all can see. Can y'all see the pan? Yeah, the pan right here. All right, pan. so the next step after that, so you want to bind the two together. So me and Bjorn do it at the same time is we're gonna hold it on there for like two seconds. Let's see, one, two, okay. And now it's, you know, wet again. And to place it on top like this, hold it on for a little bit. Make sure it's aligned. Oh, Ooh, powder's falling day. out. You hold it together. So yeah. cute though. Mom's and I'm gonna put it back nice. into the freezer. Now that our chocolate foams are here and dried, next we are warming up some almond milk in the microwave. When that is finished, we'll go ahead and pour it in our cups and then see if our chocolate foams are delicious or not. The milk is nice and warm. It literally took forever though to warm this milk up. This almond milk, we don't usually have just regular milk in here. It's pretty big, look you guys. It's basically the whole cup. Mm -hmm. You have yours? Yep. All right, cheers. <laughs> Moment of truth. Oh my God, we didn't think about how it might overflow though. <laughs> oh, it's melting. Did you hear smell? Kind of. Oh, it is. Oh, now all the marshmallows are on it. Oh, that's oh, cool. Mine just opened up. I need to so it. now you just have to mix it. And then see how it turns out. Oh, it's so cute. It literally is like a bath bomb. Like all the marshmallows came out as soon as it hit the water. The chocolate's melting. All the chocolates on the bottom, you have to just mix it up. But it was so cute how it just exploded of marshmallows. Now it's starting to get that extra brown hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. We gotta use these big old jug cups. Usually you probably wouldn't drink this much hot chocolate, but... Yeah, we had to do it for the one time. I'm gonna just taste it to see how it is. I still got a lot of mixing to do. It's a lot of chocolate that we put in there, so yeah. we gotta give it a good stir. Because it was the actual chocolate outside. And then we had the hot cocoa mix. Okay, let's try it. Moment of truth. That's it's good. good. <laughs> this pretty much wraps up our video. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you're still watching our video, Make sure you comment down below any video content that you guys want me to record for my channel. Mm -hmm. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next upload. Peace. When you come to my city, you know you gotta tap in. Tap in. What they call you? Good in every hood, cause you know that I'm tapping.